Late getting to the inbound spot. And Lou Howe from the baseline. Well, the first the first quarter was very, very physical. But this is international basketball. All these NBA guys saying they want to go overseas. This is what you're gonna do gonna deal with on a daily basis. How about that drive and finishing with the left? Lee Lu Howe will have a chance for a three-point play. Well, Lee Lu Howe, a little Sigma-esque reverse pivot, mm -hmm. face up, pump fake. And that's that's the test for Ryan Kelly. Now, he's a very good face up shooter. He's a good position. In the passing lane, the steal from Sri Ram had taken himself and laying it in right over Dawkins, and we're tied at 20. Field goal percentage killers when you got to take him with a shot clock going down. And a runner won't go, but Wang J. Lin lays it in. What Duke likes to do against the zone is well, balls could it seem across all these international trips. Wang J. Lin. Trying to create off the dribble. He's got the rebound, working inside, and puts it home. They were given fits in the first game. And three big offensive rebounds to kind of keep China around here in game two. With Steve Wojciechowski. The thing that always impresses everyone who plays against them is how consistently they bring their top-level effort on every possession. Troubles with the handles in the lane, but scooping it up and in the seven foot two, Lee Mu Hao found a way. Yeah. The music being played during possession, it's kind of like an NBA game, an NBA style arena. Jang Hidden running the point to get the offense started for China. Anjay Lin, a little high low inside. Lee Mu Hao lays it in. Really nice pass from Jing Jin. Can't hit the second. Wang Jay Lin high for the rebound. Coming up on four minutes to go. The Duke lead is 11. They won by 13 last night in Tuchan before traveling to Shanghai. Wang Jay Lin, the spin. You're going to count that basket? Wan Jae Lin, who is the best player for China, 19 in the first game, struggled from the free throw line. He's shown a nice little agility, both in the low post and at the high post here with this move. But yeah, they're counting that bucket, not calling the charge. It looked like a charge, but we'll get another look at that. In any event, Wan Jae Lin's dominating performances over two games have continued. He's clearly the Focal point of their offense. They go into him almost, almost every possession. Yeah, and, and Duke's done a much better job of running the low post on uh, what's called switching and catching when they hedge on a ball screen. The weak side post will catch the man who rolls down rolls down to the bucket. And he still found ways to be effective on the offensive horse. 